It's like a bad dream you keep waiting to wake up from. Family of the teenager hit by a car in Mattoon says they want people to know the truth about what happened. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Riley McCleary and her dog were hit on DeWitt Avenue near 26th Street in Mattoon Saturday afternoon. Her family says a lot of wrong information was spread after it happened, and they want to set the record straight. WCI3's Courtney Bundy is with us. Courtney, so how are they doing? Yeah, Riley and her dog are both in a difficult situation right now. The 15-year-old is in critical condition, but her family says she's stable. Her dog also has a long recovery ahead, but her family says they're optimistic. We're praying, a lot of prayers. There's nothing more unnerving than a family member fighting for their life. That's what Riley McCleary's family is dealing with right now, not just with her, but also with her dog. They've dropped some of the sedation, but she's still not awake or speaking. McCleary and her dog were hit on DeWitt Avenue near North 26th Street in Mattoon. On top of that, her family says people don't know what happened and are being judgmental. A lot of misinformation going on. Early in the investigation, police said McCleary's dog Luna lunged into the street when the teenager was walking her. But her uncle, Christopher McCleary, says that's not true. He says they weren't walking at all. Someone had had some puppies across the street. Luna had seen them, so she tried, had taken, jumped out of the car, or tried running over. She ran out, got a hold of the dog, its collar, on the side of the road, and uh, basically the dog had lunged once. She got it, got Luna back, and Riley was holding on still. She lunged again, and that's when she got pulled out in the road. But that's not what he's most concerned about. He says his family feels the driver who hit her could have avoided it. A lot of the family feels maybe he wasn't paying attention like he should have been. Mattoon police say state police are still reconstructing the accident. But right now they don't have any reason to believe the 85-year-old driver was speeding or not paying attention. While police handle those details, McCleary says the family is holding out hope that the 15-year-old will be her old self again. She's got her whole life ahead of her, and she, she means the world to us. Luna Riley's dog is at the vet in Mattoon right now, but McCleary says the plan is for her to be taken to U of I Vet Med to be cared for. The family is trying to raise money to pay for those vet and doctor bills. For information on how to help, you can head to our website at WCIA.com. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. And hopefully they both recover. All right, thank you so much.